groomers, it's Mal here and we have Finn the Cavoodle today. He's a seven month old Cavoodle and we're going to present a three part grooming video on brushing and bathing and drying your Cavoodle at home. In part one, we are going to pre-brush and comb out any tangles and knots. The equipment we are going to use is an Artero Flexi Slicker. This is a great slicker. It has a soft side and a firm side. As you can see, it's flexible and it's gentle and will help minimize any discomfort. Artero Metal Comb. This comb has a fine side and a medium size. We're going to use a medium size today to help remove any dead coat. A dematting tool. We also have popped a non-slip mat underneath our towel. This will help Finn feel nice and secure and it will stop our towel from sliding around while we're grooming him. We have also another towel for when he comes out of the bath. And of course, his favourite treats and we're going to reward him when he's been good. As a professional groomer, the most feedback I receive from pet owners is that my dog does not like being brushed. We need to teach our dogs that grooming is a part of day-to-day -day life. If your dog is matted or has lots of knots, of course then they're not going to enjoy being groomed and the process becomes a negative experience and not a positive one. It's important that we teach our dogs from an early stage to be groomed. Breeders will start the grooming process from about three weeks old, whether it's scissoring the coat around the sanitary areas and including their eyes. It's also important as pet owners that we continue the grooming training as soon as we pick up our puppy. Like training a dog, it's important that we do small amounts of grooming training at a time. Even five minutes a day to every second day is perfect and only reward our dog when he or she is showing good behaviour. For example, we would not reward our dog if our dog is biting. Our puppy's coat will change from this soft coat to his adult coat and it's generally over a two and a half year period. During this time, your dog's coat will change dramatically and your dog will need lots of brushing and maintenance to remove this dead coat. And it will encourage a new, healthy adult coat to grow through. Grooming your dog on a regular basis, it'll help you build the bond between yourself and your dog. Even if you have a short haired dog, you still have to remove the dead coat, allowing that new coat to grow through. Before brushing, spritz the area you are going to brush with the Relax Coat Conditioning Spray. The Relax Coat Conditioning Spray is a lightweight leave-in conditioner detangling spray that's perfect to apply before brushing and helps to remove dead coat, while it hydrates without weighing the coat down, making it perfect for our oodles, our poodles and our bichons. So let's start brushing. Before we're going to use our slicker to brush him, we're going to spritz our area with our relaxed coat conditioning spray. And then we're going to gently brush up, starting with our back leg and moving up towards our body. And we're going to repeat this process on each leg, making sure we separate all this coat. It's so important when we're grooming our dogs that when we're lifting our legs that we're lifting them out straight forward as this is a natural movement of our dogs. If we lift them out sideways this can cause our dogs some discomfort. Once we have gone through Finn's entire body with our slicker, we're going to put that down and we're going to pick up our metal comb and we're going to use a medium size. So that's where the teeth are further apart. And we're just going to repeat that process and making sure 
all his coat is separated and we have no knots. If we do hit a knot, we're going to remove that comb and then we're going to go through with our slicker. If we do hit a matted area, we can use our dematting tool and gently tease that knot out. This may cause a little bit discomfort, but you need to be very gentle, making sure that the teeth don't hit the skin. Now we're going to start brushing Finn's head. So the easiest way to control our dog's head as we're brushing is to hold a little bit of hair underneath their chin so you can feel which way the dog is going to move. So as we've got our little bit of hair, we're just going to just gently brush with the direction of the coat. And we're just going to do sections at a time, just being extra gentle. And his other side. And now we're just going to use the corner of the slicker for his little whiskers, making sure we get all that dead, horrible food out of his little whiskers. Our second last area we are going to brush is his ears. So what we're going to do is hold our ear in the palm of our hand and with, again, section at a time, just brushing small amounts and going with the direction of the hair, of the coat growth, and separating all that hair. We can even flip his ear around and then gently do the inside. And we can pick up our comb and check for any knots. Once we've brushed his ears, we've got our little tail left. So I'm going to move him to the side and give it a little bit of a spritz. And then again, going with the direction of the coat, brushing downwards making sure we get all those little knots and tangles out before the bath. And once we've gone through with our slicker, again, pick up our comb, making sure we've got all that dead coat out and all those knots. So then he's ready for the bath. Our key areas include our armpits, and behind our little ears. So what we need to do again is pull our leg out straight, not sideways. So we're going to pull it out straight and we're going to get right underneath him and just brush out any tangles in his little pits. And then pull his ear forward and gently slicker behind his ears. We have gone through Finn with a comb so he has no more tangles or knots. We are going to prepare for our next video which is bathing a cavoodle. If you loved our video please like, comment and subscribe to our channel and happy grooming!